Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve an example from CBSE Class 10, 2024-25 Sample Question Paper for Mathematics Standard with Subject Code 041, Section D, where each question is of 5 marks. Now, this question is from the Circles chapter. Prove that the lengths of tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal. Using the above result, find the length of BC of triangle ABC. Given that a circle is inscribed in triangle ABC, touching the sides AB, BC and CA at points R, P and Q respectively. And the side length AB is given as 10 cm, AQ is 7 cm and CQ is 5 cm. So let us divide this entire question into two parts that is part 1 and part 2. And let us begin with the part 1 now. Since we have to prove that the lengths of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are equal, we have drawn a figure over here and we have written Consider a circle with center O as shown and A is an external point to the circle. Means A is a point which is outside the circle and through this external point two tangents AB and AC are drawn to the circle. Now after we have drawn this, we have to prove that the lengths of the tangents that is AB and AC drawn from the external point which is point A are going to be equal. So for example, if the length of AB is going to be 3 cm, then the length of AC is also going to be 3 cm. So this is what we have written. Prove that the length of AB is going to be equal to the length of AC. So let us begin by a small construction now. So here we have made use of the same figure. So the same figure is drawn over here with a little bit of construction. That is in the first step, we are going to join OB, OA and OC. So once we do this small construction, we are going to say that angle OBA is equal to angle OCA and these two angles are going to be equal to 90 degree. Now we can say this by radius tangent theorem. It states that any radii of the circle touching a tangent at the point of contact is going to make a 90 degree angle. So here OB makes 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it that is AB and here OC this radius makes a 90 degree angle with the tangent touching it, that is AC. Now once we have written this, let us focus on the two triangles, that is triangle OBA and triangle OCA. And we can easily make out that these two triangles are right angled triangles. Now consider the right angled triangles OBA and triangle OCA. Now in these two triangles, we can see that the side OB is equal to the side OC because both are radii of the same circle, so they are going to be same. Then we have written OA is equal to OA. That is, this is a common side for both the triangles. And also, this is acting as a hypotenuse. Any side which is opposite to the 90 degree angle is going to represent the hypotenuse of a right angle triangle. So, OA is a common side for both the triangles as well as the hypotenuse of both the triangles. Then we had already written that angle OBA is equal to angle OCA is equal to 90 degree that is by radius tangent theorem. So here after we have written this we can say now that triangle OBA is congruent to triangle OCA that is by right angle hypotenuse and side criterion or RHS criterion. Now once we have proved that these two triangles are congruent we can now say that the sides AB is going to be equal to AC. That is by corresponding parts of the congruent triangles. So we have proved that the length of the tangents drawn from an external point to a circle are going to be equal. Now let us focus on the part B of this question. Now for this part of the question they have given a figure to be considered. So using the above result, find the length BC of triangle ABC. Given that a circle is inscribed in triangle ABC, touching the sides AB, BC and CA at points R, P and Q respectively. And AB is given as 10 cm, AQ as 7 cm and CQ as 5 cm. Now here we need to find out the length of BC and some of the side lengths are given. So let us begin by marking these sides first. So we have marked AB length is 10 cm, AQ is 7 cm and CQ is 5 cm. Now to solve this question, we have to make use of the proof which we got just in part A of this question. Now if we look at this figure carefully, A is an external point to the circle with two tangents touching it, that is AR and AQ. 
B is an external point to the circle with the two tangents BR and BP and C is the third external point to the circle with the tangents CP and CQ. So let us begin with the first external point which is A. So we have written here that A acts as an external point to the circle and AR and AQ are the two tangents drawn from the external point A. So the length of AR becomes equal to the length of AQ by two tangent theorem. So the length of AR is also going to be 7 cm. Now let us focus on the side AB of the triangle. The side AB is divided into AR and BR. So we have written here AB is equal to AR plus BR but the value of AB was given as 10 cm equal to the AR value we got it as 7 plus BR. So taking 7 on the other side of the equal to sign we get the length of BR as 10 minus 7 which is 3 cm. So let me write here 3. So this is the side BR. Next let us focus on the external point B. Now here I have just redrawn the same figure for easy reference. So B is acting as an external point to the circle now. So the two tangents out of this external point is BR and BP. So the length of BR is going to be equal to the length of BP that is again by two tangent theorem. So if the length of BR is 3 cm then the length of BP is also going to be 3 cm. Now let us focus on our final external point which is C. Now C acts as an external point to the circle. And there are two tangents out of the external point that is CP and CQ touching the circle. So the length of CP will be equal to the length of CQ by two tangent theorem again. So here in the question the length of CQ was given as 5 cm. So the length of CP also now becomes 5 cm. So in the question they had asked us to find out the total length of the side BC. Now BC is made up of BP plus CP. So here we have written BC is equal to BP plus CP which is 3 plus 5. So the length of BC is going to be now 8 cm. So this is the answer for the given question. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video. And if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you will find more examples of these kind. And if you are liking my videos like share and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.